Hey guys, welcome to the Gather Show, and this video is gonna be in English. If you guys are wondering why, then I would say you, the guys who are connected with me in my Telegram channel, they know that I did a poll a couple of days earlier about a random question. How about covering one video in my channel in English? And you guys showed me tremendous support by saying, yeah, it will be interesting. So here I am with the video which will be today in English. So for my Hindi viewer, my humble Hindi viewers, आप सभी के लिए सारे वीडियो रहेंगे मेरा चैनल हिंदी बेस्ड रहेगा सारे वीडियो हिंदी में ही आते रहेंगे ये जस्ट एक एक्सपेरिमेंट पर्पस वीडियो है जिसमें कि आज का वीडियो मैं इंग्लिश में कवर करूंगा सो लेट्स डोंट वेस्ट एनी मोर टाइम एंड टुडे वी विल बी सीइंग द एवोल्यूशन एक्स 5.7 इन K20 Pro व्हिच इज रिसेंटली रिलीज्ड एंड इज द लेटेस्ट अपडेट ऑफ द एवोल्यूशन एक्स रोम So here I have installed it in my K20 Pro. So let's come to the about phone section where we can find the details of the ROM. So in the settings menu, here is the about phone section and of course this ROM is based on Android 11. Also guys, this ROM comes with the latest security patch which is the 5th May 2021 patch and also this ROM is based on Perf kernel. And of course we all know Evolution X is a very polished ROM and one of the best AOSP ROM. The Evolution X got quite a few cosmetic changes with this update. So let's cover that first. So in this QS panel, we can see the QS panel style is totally different. Here we can see the icon styles are totally different and of course it gets plenty of QS styles and they are very useful. If we expand it, we can see there are also a lot of QS styles present and everyone have its own and unique function. For example, we got language, audio mode, power mode, heads up and gaming mode. So tons of QS styles are present here. In fact, you can see there are two screen recorders. One is the inbuilt screen recorder of Android 11, which is very basic and I don't prefer that much. And another, if we consider, then we get the screen recorder, which is present in the Oxygen OS. So it's very important and very useful. So we can see if we grant the permission like agree and here comes the settings menu. Here we can tweak the resolution, bitrate, number of frames, audio source, video orientation. So it's very much packed up with feature so you can definitely use this screen recorder it's very well put together now let's come to the settings menu so in settings menu we can see that settings menu also got some cosmetic changes for example if we consider the search setting like the search bar which is in top of this menu so you can very easily see that the search bar is totally different now it's larger thicker and also the position is a bit different so previously if you had used the evolution x the search bar used to be here like in this position and now it's right below the status bar and also if we see the profile icon then the profile icon is also larger than before and if we touch here we can see that some of the options are present here for example the device information emergency information and also the payment methods so until now if you are liking this video if you are finding this video helpful please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel so that i can get a bit of your support now if we talk about the launcher, so here the pixel launcher is totally used and styles and wallpaper if we consider that then we can change the grid size from here and also we can tweak the styles and we can change the themes. Now if we come to the home screen setting, home screen setting we can see that there is not a lot of feature as we know the pixel launcher don't come with a lot of fancy feature but it's very responsive, very fluid. So I would say the pixel launcher compensates its lack of feature with its peppy performance. So here you won't experience any of the lag. Now let's come to the most crucial menu in this ROM which is the Evolver. It's basically the customization center of this ROM. So here we get the menu like uh, we are used to it the Evolution X always gets this type of menu in its theming section. For example the first menu is themes of course and the menu is totally revamped that we can see like this section like the font section is totally different. Here we can see you can change the dark mode schedule it and also the dark mode color like if you change it to the dark mode here if I change it manually. So from here you can change the dark mode style from the color bucket. For example, if I change it from the pitch black to solarized dark, so you can see that the shade is totally different now. If we say, if we change it to the choco X, we can see the background is like a bit chocolatey. It changes its color to the brown shade. So I don't know how much it's visible from the camera, but it's actually changing. You can experience it if you change and see it from your naked eyes. So I would say, I will change it to pitch black again like how it was and again I will turn it to the light mode. 
Now coming to the most interesting theming features. For example, you can change the accent color picker. It's very common. It was there in the evolution next ROM from a long time. And if we change the icon pack here, so you can see a lot of icon shape style is present here in this menu and also you can change the icon pack style and if we talk about the switch style you can change the switch styles also for example i have like used the oxygen os 11 style for now you can choose some different menus such as the material design 2 so here you can also change that g visual mode so basically in this menu you can change the status bar height the header size and also the rounded corner in fact you can change the color of your navigation bar that's interesting right so if we come to the next menu, it's the volume panel. So basically you can also change the volume panel style, which is very much interesting. And if we come to the QS setting style, so basically in this menu, you can change the header style. Custom header styles are available here. You can also enable the QS style disco. This is a very interesting menu. For example, you can see if I change this, all the QS style will get a colorful tile. But I prefer the simple one, so I will rather turn it off. And nextly, let's see the QS style style. You can tweak the QS style icon style. So basically, it's a very large menu. A lot of icon styles are present here from where you can choose from. So basically, you can also change the QS tint style. So basically, previously, this menu was not present. It's totally a new menu which is available or you can say it's available from this update only. So basically, you guys can change the QS style tint style. So basically, I have changed it to the Oxygen OS 11. You guys set it to like default. Default is like this. You can also change it to Android. 12 so android 12 look like this and you can also change it to the accent color so accent color it's blue because my accent color is also blue it's a coincidence basically if you change your accent color to any color like red green blue yeah orange so this qs style will also change to that color it's interesting right but i prefer the oxygen os style which is purely black so i will change it to oxygen os 11. now you can change the background transparency so it's also a cool thing which you can change from the themes menu let's come to the status bar so from status bar menu you can change or i would rather say you can turn on and off some of the menus like the network monitoring or the traffic indicator you can turn it on or you can change the transparency display mode a lot of things are present here and also you can also customize the clock and date position or you can turn it on or off after that you can also tweak the battery indicator for example you can see you can change the battery percentage style and also you can change the entire battery style like how the icon will look for example i have uh, selected the circle from here you can also select the dotted circle so basically your battery icon will change here in the top of the status bar so it's very interesting right you can also tweak the 4g icon or the lte icon whichever you like the most now let's come to the quick setting. In the quick setting, you can turn on the smart pull down feature, which is a kind of a gimmick, I would say. If you want to like save your a couple of microseconds, then you can turn it on. I don't find it necessary, so I have turned it off. And also the most important thing is you can tweak the icon style in the QS panel in portrait and landscape port, both the ways. Here you can also pick the position of the brightness slider and also some more menus are also present here. Like let's come to the gesture menu. In the gesture menu, you can tweak the system setting gesture. For example, a lot of menus are present here which you can figure out. In fact, you can also turn out the swipe to screenshot option which is exactly like the main UI. And here, if we come to the lock screen menu, so trust me guys, lock screen menu is a very interesting one because you can change the fingerprint icon. A lot of icons are present here in this menu. You can choose from here. And in fact, you can also change the recognition animation. For example, I have selected the hallowing. A lot of menus are like a lot of animation effects are present here. So you can choose any of the animation style from this menu, which is very interesting, I would say. And lastly, if we come to the miscellaneous, because buttons and animation, these are very basic options and uh, not much new menus are added here. And let's come to the miscellaneous now. In miscellaneous, you will find the gaming mode. So gaming mode, I guess it's very important for the person who like gaming because in this way, you can add the games here directly in this menu and then you will start getting a lot of advantages. For example, the heads up notification will be turned off while you are in a gaming session. So guys, of course, in the Evolution X ROM, the Evolver menu is one of the USP this ROM offers to us. So basically, those who like customizing their ROMs, 
I will say the Evolution X is a very good option to opt for. Now let's talk about some basic features, for example, which are necessary to make a ROM a daily driver. For example, in the network uh, settings, we can see the Wi-Fi is working properly. Mobile data also don't have any kind of problem. The Volte also working properly. The Bluetooth is working absolutely perfectly. And if I talk about the battery section, you can see the battery section have a different animation here in the representation, which I like very much. And also, if I say the battery backup is really good, I would say it will provide you a seven and a half hour about screen on time if you use it moderately. And in the heavy usage, it may drop to six and a half hours. You can also change the thermal profile and you can also turn on the gaming mode. Mainly, you can change the touch sampling rate from this menu. And also, you can see some of the information about the battery from this menu. Now let's come to the security section. In the security section, you can see you have the face unlock and the fingerprint icon system here. And also, and I'm glad to see you, all the biometric systems are working properly. If we talk about the fingerprint, fingerprint is working fine, like you can see. And here I would say one thing, like if you want to use the screen of fingerprint so basically it's present here in this room but it's not in the fingerprint menu in the evolver setting you have to basically come here in this settings menu and here you can find the screen of fingerprint it's also working fine just i would say it's a small con that it's a tad bit slow from the on-screen fingerprint and if we talk about the face unlock face unlock is working absolutely perfect and if we call about the app locker so app locker is also working fine you can see i have uh, secured my whatsapp application from this app locker like here you can see i can unlock it by using my fingerprint it's interesting right now let's come to the system menus in the system menus you can see the system updated is present here which is i would say a very important feature in order to receive the future updates now if we come to the front camera settings you can enable the camera led and also change the sound effects basically i don't like the sound effects so i have disabled it right now but you can of course change it now let's come to the camera section so basically this rom doesn't comes with the anx camera pre-installed i know i know a lot of people like the anx camera i also personally very much like it but of course you can install it you can install it by the magisk but if we ask about the pre-installed camera application so i am like uh, very sad to say you that the anx camera is not present and you get a very like uh, notchy camera application here which is not really optimized and i don't like it to be honest you can also use the gcam gcam is working properly here it's a moderate gcam you can also opt it from my telegram uh, channel so it's there and working fine as well you can see the front camera is also working very nicely so no need to worry about this the camera is totally perfect in this rom now let's come to the native root checker so if we check it we can see all the parameters are working absolutely perfectly so don't have to worry about anything and also i would say the banking applications works absolutely fine you can use any kind of the payment application it won't get stuck and if we talk about the safety net i would say the safety net is also passed here i have checked it so here you can see the safety net is also passed if we come to the play store and search the netflix we can see that Netflix is also available in the Play Store. So it gets your back about any of the application related problems that you face in any other ROMs. You won't face it here. It's totally stable. It's totally perfect. You can use it. And also, if we now talk about the performance, then I would say the performance is really great in this ROM. If we talk about the moderate usage, you can use any of the application that you like. It will run smoothly until and unless you start doing heavy gaming. So basically, if you are doing heavy gaming, for example, heavy graphical intensive gaming, for example, the COD mobile or any of the Asphalt 9, etc., then you will see the device will start to get a bit warm. So basically, that's the main problem. The device will start to get a bit warm and it will, of course, affect its performance. Then it may get a bit laggy. And also during the charging or if I tell you precisely, during the turbo charging, the device also gets hot. Maybe it's due to the kernel it uses. So I would say it's not a very big issue. You can also change the kernel if you want to. You can flash any of the performance oriented kernel that will work absolutely perfectly and may increase the performance as well. I have tested it. The single core performance is 673 and multi core is 2365. I would say it's decently good, but of course it's not in the top tier performance range. So yes, the performance is adequately good for your daily uh, driving or I would say for the normal applications. But if you start doing heavily intensive tasks, for example, video editing or heavy intense gaming, then you might feel a bit lack in performance. So now if you want to install this ROM, so basically I will add the installation video link in the description of this video. And also I will add the link of this particular ROM zip 
to the description of this video so please guys you can refer to the description of this video and download the particular file which you want you can also join my telegram discussion group because uh, there i interact with all of you guys and it's a very useful group because the community is big and there are a lot of guys who help you who will help you if you find any difficulty while flashing the wrong i hope this video was helpful to you if it was then please guys do like share and subscribe to my channel i will be right back with my next video